Welcome to my training video, Microsoft Excel, working with multiple worksheets, where we'll learn how to work with multiple worksheets, and we'll learn how to link them together and create three-dimensional formulas. We can have one worksheet referring to other worksheets. Uh, for additional information, please check out my website, luthermaddy.com, and these lessons are based on my textbooks that are available for sale on amazon.com. All right, so we're starting with a sales report for January for No Fault Travel. We have the sales associates, we have the destinations, and then we have the number of trips they've booked uh, for each of the destinations for the month of January. Now, what I'd like to do on this particular workbook is I'd like to have a worksheet for January, one for February, one for March, and then one that summarizes them all together. That would be a quarter total. So I only have one worksheet now, so I'm going to create three additional worksheets. So I'll go down to the new sheet tool here and I'll click it. I have sheet two, which will be February, sheet three, which will be March, and sheet four, which will be the quarter total. Now to prevent me from getting confused, because I'm going to be referring to these sheets by name when I work with formulas, instead of having to call them sheet one and sheet two and sheet three and sheet four, I'm going to rename them to the month that they represent. So sheet one, I'm going to rename Jan to represent January. To rename a worksheet, I just double click on the name of the worksheet down at the bottom and I type the new worksheet. I'll do the same thing for sheet two. I'll rename it to Feb. Sheet three will be Mar. And we'll rename sheet four quarter total. All right, I'll go back to the January. Now I'm going to be able to use, fortunately, uh, the January worksheet as a template. Yes, the month name is going to be different here in the title, but I'm going to assume that for January, February, and March, I didn't change any sales associates, nor did I change any destinations. So I'm working with the same associates and the same destinations. So that means that I can use the January worksheet that's already set up with formulas as a template for actually for all three of the other worksheets. So I can just copy this information and then make the changes that I need to, for instance, for the month and also maybe the numbers that are not the same. So I'm going to use the worksheet selector tool and select the entire worksheet. I could also click and drag to select the cells that I needed, but by selecting the entire worksheet, I'm assured of getting any cells in, that I cannot see if there was data uh, way off to below or off to the right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy this information and I'm going to go to the February worksheet, make sure I'm in cell A1 and I'm going to paste. I'll do the same thing for March and the same thing for the quarter total. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into the February worksheet. Now I'm going to zoom in so that I can see this just a little bit better, 200%. I'll do that for all the worksheets here, but we'll start on this one. Now the obvious change we need to make here is the title. This is not a sales report for January. And just as the sheet tab reflects, this is February. So I'm going to change January to February. I'm also just going to change a couple of numbers here just so my totals are slightly different. And of course, if I was doing this for real, I'd erase everything and start over, except for the formulas. All right, for March, do the same thing. I'm going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to change January to March. And I'll also change a couple of numbers here. All right, for the quarter total, I'll zoom in again. I'll change this to quarter total. Okay. Well, I've changed everything I need to change for right now in January, February, and March, but the quarter total, what I want it to do is not reflect just the, the values from January. So I'm going to erase all those. Now notice I left the total row and total column and the division, uh, percent of total um, alone because this is a template with the formulas that I'll be able to use once I get the totals. So in cell B5, in the quarter total cell, what I want is January, February, and March Maui values for Jones. I want them all added up. And so again, I'm just creating what's called a three-dimensional formula. Now, 
when we create a formula that refers to another worksheet, we have to use the name of the worksheet. That's why I renamed them something that made sense here. But rather than having to type the names, I like to use the point and click method when I'm working with a cell on another worksheet. So we'll go ahead and use that method and it'll be very, very easy to fill in all the formulas here. So I'll start the formula with the equal sign, letting Excel know I'm about ready to enter a formula. Then I'm going to click on the January tab because that's the first one I want it to work with here. All right, so notice up at the top in the formula bar, it says equals January exclamation point. That's all you have to do in front of a cell address to reference another worksheet. The name of the worksheet with an exclamation point separating that and the cell address. Well, I want the total, or I want Maui's total for January. So I'll click on the Jones Maui, which is cell B5. So now my formula reads January B5. Well, I want to add to January, I want to add February and March, so I'll put a plus in here. I'll click on the Feb tab, and as soon as I do that, I'm again creating the formula. We now have Feb. Well, I want the Maui value for Jones for February, so I'll click on B5 again. So I'm building the formula, January B5 plus February B5, and now I'm going to add to that. Click on the March tab and click on cell B5. So I have Jan B5, Feb B5, and Mar B5, just with pointing and clicking. The formula is correct and well, it's complete, so I'll press enter. Now I have 59. So Jones, for the entire quarter, January, February, and March, scheduled 59 trips to Maui. Now the cool thing about this, using again a, a template where all the cells are in the same place, uh, makes it very easy for someone to be lazy. And I, I will admit to being lazy once in a while here. So rather than having to build the formula in each and every one of these cells, these are copyable formulas. So I want Martin not to be B5, but to B6. Well, begin because this is a copyable formula. We have a relative address. The sheet names are absolute, but the cell addresses are relative. So in other words, if I copy this down from here to B6 and B7 and B8, it will adjust, but let's prove it. I'll use the fill handle, I'll copy down. And so now I have Jan B6, Feb B6, March B6. For Smith, I have row seven, B7. And for Thompson, I have B8. Well, again, it's copyable across as well because I've again using the same cells for each of the months here, the same cell addresses. So I want it to copy from Maui to London and Cancun. As I do that, it adjusts January C5, March C5. And again, I can use the fill handle and copy both columns at the same time. And now I end up with all together, I have the totals. So for the month of January, February, and March, there were 102 trips to Maui, 93 to London, 33 to Cancun. Jones scheduled 104 trips altogether in that quarter. Well, just one other thing that I can do here, I'll show you real quickly. Um, if I'm looking at the, these worksheets, January, February, March, and the quarter total, it's kind of boring. Uh, I think it would look better if we had done some cell enhancing, some colors and some lines, uh, probably before we copied it. Well, here's the good news. Let's say that I want to add some shading here. Okay. Notice that when I added shading to the January, it isn't in February, it isn't in March, and it isn't in the quarter total. So. I'm a little bit annoyed right now because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I should have done this before I did the whole thing. I should have copied it um, after the formatting was done. But the nice thing about Excel is if you have worksheets that are using the same cells, you know, kind of a template as we have here, you can do it to one, whatever you want to do, uh, change cell addresses or even values for that matter, and have it done to all of the worksheets or some of them. We call that grouping. And if the worksheets are grouped, whatever we do to one will be done to all. And I want to add formatting to all of them, so I'm going to group them all. You'll notice down here that January is white, the others are grayed out. That means I'm only working with January at the moment. But I want to work with all four, so I'm going to hold the shift key down, and then I'm going to click on the quarter total. Notice now they're all white, they're all selected. Okay, they're grouped. 
whatever I do to one will be done to all. And just a note of caution here is if I were to go to cell B5 and change the value that I see right now, that value would appear in all of the worksheets. So be careful working with numbers when the cells are grouped, but for formatting, it's great. So I'm going to go ahead and select these cells that I wanted to shade a minute ago, and I'm going to go ahead and shade them. And let's say that I'm interested in bold facing the total row. Okay, so I have formatted one, but as I go into the other worksheets, notice that they're formatted the same way. Okay, so we've showed you how to add worksheets. We've shown you how to rename worksheets. We've shown you how to group them uh, so that you can format them all at the same time. And we've shown you how to create three-dimensional formulas where we can have one worksheet refer to cells in another in a formula. All right, remember, check out my website, luthermaddy.com, and hopefully we'll see you again for another training video shortly.